Now, even though most of the consumers, most of the time, don't really push their smartphones or tablets to their fullest potential, but I can guarantee no one likes to hear that the smartphone or tablet they are using or the brand is throttling down the performance without notifying them clearly. Now, usually Apple has a bad reputation regarding this. That's an old story. The new story maker is Samsung and its game optimizing service or GOS app, which came pre-installed on some of its devices and was said to be limiting the performance of over 10,000 applications in total. And in, that includes a lot of non-gaming apps that is kind of stupid, such as like Microsoft Office, YouTube, and many more. Now that means these apps are deliberately restricted to use the full GPU and CPU power. Now Samsung's latest One UI update made uninstalling the GOS app even more impossible. Now Samsung told that they did this to prevent the overheating or stuttering or lag during the long gaming sessions. Now Samsung is rolling out an update that will offer you to disable the GOS. Now, now they're doing it. Then why it felt like dishonesty? Because Samsung included non-gaming apps in it and they were not so transparent about it. And on top of everything, Samsung excluded benchmarking apps so that the performance figures on those apps are as best as possible. And as a result, Geekbench delisted the last four Galaxy S series smartphones, including the Galaxy S10 series. Just think about it. And it looks like the Galaxy Tab S lineup will be next. Now, Android Police has found that the GOS app also affected the performance of the Samsung's latest tablet series. But it only affected the Tab S8, S8 Plus, and the S8 Ultra, the mighty one, not the older models. Android Police also notes that the tablet didn't throttle as hard as the S22 series phone. But is that good enough? I don't know. You tell me in the comment section below. Now, here's the thing. While Samsung already started rolling out an update that will allow you to disable the GOS app and will provide the full performance of the chipsets depending on the need of the app, even Samsung's current CEO took to the stage to send a heartfelt apology to Samsung's customers and shareholders. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you for listening to me this long. And yeah, so finally, my latest Web2 series wallpaper pack is here. It is by far my best creation. This pack has 12 different very high resolution wallpapers, custom made for modern desktops, tablets, and smartphones. You can visit my website, joindavid.com to check out where you're gonna find a lot more tech news way faster than these videos. And definitely do hit the like button and do subscribe this channel as well. Until the next one, bye and take care.